welcome to part three. Part three of the Constitutional Forum. Now, this video is not going to have a comments section. So, I want you to listen to it and just move your comments over to the second video. That's how we're going to work this. And it's not like the perfect system, but, you know, what, what on YouTube works out perfectly. Anyhow, you have, you have to work with the format that they give us. Someone wrote a comment. Are you trying to hypnotize us? He said that as he was hypnotized, because I am not trying to hypnotize you. I have you hypnotized. You will submit to YouTubia. You will submit. Okay, okay. Just a little comedy break right there. Updown mostly made the criticism or, or the question, how do you decide who must be removed from the community once they become a problem? How do you identify them and then what do you do to remove them? and block them out of the community. Okay. We need to write this into the Constitution, but let me describe how I think it should be done. And by the way, we haven't had to do this, really. Uh, for all this year, nobody in the whole global <laughs> scheme here, nobody has really come up and been a, a continuing problem. It's never been that severe. And here, again, as I've talked about thanks and, and the global common sense, I want to be thankful that we have been protected. We, we have been pretty much lucky. And I think that that's because we have this positive thinking, we have this optimism at our core. I've infused it into there as the president. I've given of my soul. Just a positive vibe, man. Positive vibe. All the way. Up. Enlightenment. Yes. Yes. More yes. Unity. And we have to keep doing that. We have to keep doing that. But again, as many of us can foresee into the future, there may, may come a time when there's so many more thousands of viewers of people checking out YouTubia, and for whatever reasons they have, they may attack us. They may become a problem. So, another statement of the common global sense, the global common sense, is prevention. Prevent problems before they start. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Ever hear of that one? So much wisdom to that. So we're going to prevent it by identifying who the problems are. We're not going to exacerbate the problem, but we're going to find these individuals, we're going to talk about it amongst the officers, agree that this person may not feel the YouTubia vibe, they may be here to cause disharmony, they may be here just with a negative intention, and we're going to communicate with them first. Number one step is to Identify, are, are they actually bothered by something that nobody is communicating with them? Some kind of confusion, some kind of a grudge? I say we give it a clear-cut opportunity to balance itself out. And we give that individual the chance to voice their opinion, and if it's a valid complaint, it should be addressed. But I think that the officers need to make a, uh, an efficient, expedient decision on that, that it should not drag us into debate or some kind of mor morass. You know what that word means? It's, it's kind of like a, a doldrum of... Or, 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 just let me describe, if a person comes in with a plan to drag down YouTubia, they can do it by invoking 
these things and taking our attention away. That even if there's a problem in YouTube, even if there's a person or people that need to be identified and, you know, examine them for the fitness to be in YouTube, let's say, even if that's going on, we should always prioritize our positive values. We should always prioritize our loyal members, our positive members. And there's going to be a lot of them. So we should always have that going on, and nothing should ever disturb that. Nothing. And we should be promoting their videos, pr promoting collaborative ventures, promoting every good thing that we're going to be coming up with. And on the side, we should have a way to address that. Um, but foremost, we should give that person the chance to express themselves and know that they are officially, formally being heard and we're paying attention to them. We really care to hear what their complaint is, what their suggestion is, and to give them a response. If all other options don't work out, then we come to the final option. And this is where I want to have it carefully established in the Constitution that when a person is determined by the majority of the officers to be a problem in the community and they have refused to be a harmonious member, then that person, that individual, will be identified and cast out of the community and they will be blocked out by all the members and they will add, be added to a list of people that are banned. And I think if, if it's so severe that the, the person should be banned for life. It, it, it's hard to say this, but I mean, the question is coming up. So I am addressing this to the people that really want to know. I, I doubt that this is going to come up that soon, but I mean, again, there can be somebody who just wants to test it out. I, I don't know. I don't know. But certainly we're going to have to identify who this the problem person will be, who is going to be the first problem person. Now, some people have a vendetta. Some people have really a sick psyche going on, that, you know. I'm not going to name any names, but there was one particular guy who was a little bit strange, stranger than myself, in a, in a weird way, and who became a problem for YouTube. And I myself could accept them, but they kept getting banned from YouTube. They, their accounts were constantly removed, removed, removed. So they were on the list that YouTube has, the, co the corporation, the YouTube banned list. So, you know, the YouTube community is also going to have that. Uh, and I say it's going to have to be a justice court matter. I think that YouTubia will have to have a specific place and a specific process to uh, rid ourselves. R.I.D. as V.K. is always saying, or a lot of these other... Who else has, who, who else has R.I.D. on their channel? Rid. So, can we have one of these YouTubia members come in and explain the R.I.D. Uh, process. Unfortunately, you know, we have to face reality and that's what we have to invoke when there's a problem. I can't believe that I finished 10 minutes again. I can't believe we're going to have to go to part 4. I really... This, I can tell you, this whole constitution process is, is going to be exhaustive, meaning that it's going to be exhaust all uh, options and possibilities. We need to be comprehensive, fully and absolutely. And when this constitution gets established, it, we're going to leave no stone unturned. It's going to be it's going to be complete. Okay. So my next video is going to be part four, and hopefully I'm going to wrap it up after that point. And I really want to see video responses and comments after this. Get involved.